I think about another situation or what or do I think another snitching? I honestly don't give not one I ain't got nothing to do with that shit. And I'm my business. I don't care. So leave me out there. Man, don't ask me about another business, man. What you think about it? What beautiful execution on answering that question, man. That's how you answer a question. Like a man. That ain't my business. That ain't got nothing to do with me. First off, slime my partner. Gun to my partner. I rock with YSL. That's pretty much what he was saying. And I ain't finna get into my partner's business. I got my own stuff going on. Do y'all not realize that I'm NBA young boy? Do y'all not realize that, you know, I'm one of the, I'm the biggest rapper in the game. Under 25, by far. So what do I need to speak on somebody else's business for? You know what I'm saying? I got too much going on already. Hey, I love that. I can't even lie to you. I love the way that man answered that question. I just sit back and laugh and clap my hands like, bruh, that's how you do it. Man, y'all take notes, man. I'm telling y'all, man, this boy growing up, man. He growing up, man. He's becoming a mogul. The young life is growing up, man. He growing up, man. He reaching that point where, you know, he's starting to open his mind up to new ideals and new concepts. He's becoming, you know, a man. You feel me? Right in front of our eyes, man. He's starting to make the steps to become a man. That's growth, man. That's just true growth. And, you know, when it comes to the case of growth, growth isn't a situation where it's like, is it going to occur? It's more so a situation where it's like, when will it occur? When will he grow up? When will she grow up? It's inevitable. It has to come to everyone. But it comes to some a lot quicker because of circumstances, situations that you've been placed into. You know, your life experiences determine the rate in which you grow, you know, and it ain't even more so like this, the being in the situation, because in the midst of the situation, I don't feel like the growth occurs there. The growth usually occurs after <laughs> whenever you process the situation, fully evaluate what you just went through and the necessary steps to not have to go through that again. But don't get it twisted, though, La Familia, <laughs> even though growth is problem solving and identifying solutions, it still follows under the same concept that I always explain to y'all, which is the best teacher in life is someone else's experience, not your own. Because you know, the growth can still come in from learning from somebody else's mistakes, seeing their consequences and understanding, I don't wanna go through that. Honestly, in my personal opinion, I feel like that's a faster growth. You know what I'm saying? But what we are witnessing right now from NBA Youngboy is a massive growth, a massive leap. And maybe a lot of y'all might have been right when y'all said, man, uh, he was doing a lot of trolling. But by this point, he's starting to believe the words that he's letting come out of his mouth. He's feeling the energy being reciprocated. He's feeling the love that he's getting from saying stop the violence, hashtag stop the violence. Hashtag, I'm being positive. All those different things that he's putting out there into the world, man. He's speaking life. He's speaking life into the world, man. The energy and frequency. Because you got to think about things that are happening on a molecular scale, man. The very, very minor things, man, are vitally important, man. They are things you don't really think about whenever you're youthful. You don't think about the energy that you put out. Even though energy is powerful. It resonates. Whenever you put out negativity, it will resonate. That's why when you was younger, you was always told what goes around comes around and comes right back to you. Fibonacci sequence. Everything is full circle. Whenever you put out negativity, it will return. So since he's spitting out positivity, even if it's trolling, it is still resonating in a positive way. And there you go. The growth has begun, man. Shout out to this man, man. Yeah, though, man. We got that man, Quando Rondo, partner. 1633 Chula. As you know, uh, he had a situation going on inside of that jailhouse, man. And uh, he pretty much, man, you know, beat a man down to the ground, you know. And also showed y'all how he living inside of there. 
Check this out. Yeah, 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 man. I wish I could have showed it to y'all, man. But y'all know YouTube be tripping, man. But dude, really irreptable, man. He really irreptable, man. Salute to this man, man. I got a lot of respect for him. Willing to get down and catch them fades, man. He always in there whooping something and whatnot. We always catch him, man. Putting somebody, curling them up, balling something up. You know what I'm saying? Real, real reputable type of time, man. Gotta respect it all the way. You know what I'm saying? I always salute a man who willing to get out there and settle any conflict with his hands first. You know what I'm saying? And that's just what it is. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about that. And let's go ahead and move on. Next up, man, we got YB's Young Lives. Well, really more so Baby Joe's Young Lives, man. As you know, they first, you know, put out a freestyle and then went to their homie's grave site, you know, with the straps, talking to him and whatnot. Had straps all on this man's grave and whatnot, man. Them boys wildin'. Let me get another drop. The op that I had spotted that nigga had run his feet. Mm -mm, let the in the street. Two minutes, I be rolling them dead and deceased. Yeah. It's made a beat his feet. Switch, but that broke. You know, you know how I am. You know Son, how I am. he thought he got shot with that broke. Oh. Look, look. That look. <laughs> that how right trying to build my yeah man them boys wild and ain't they man on the cool but next up man we got the 60 gang man uh as you know 60 gang youngin puts out a freestyle from inside the parish <laughs> Now next up we got that man Real Bleeder And Real Bleeder man was on live Sending a message most definitely now, who he was talking about is kind of complicated, man, because I believe he was talking about TG Comics. He said something to the tune of, if you jump in front of that Johnson, then yeah, you already know what what, what comes with that. You feel me? And uh, also, you know, just speaking, man, subliminally, man. And it seemed like, you know, he was talking at someone. So y'all tell me what y'all think. Check this out. You ain't gonna die for me, nigga. You post a lot of your honor, and I post a lot of your nigga. Like a strike on my toe. I just hope I don't hit him. You get an early dismissal. Missiles that's the bow. Hey, bullet make whispers. Know how to cancel your Christmas finger light out on the trigger. <laughs> hey, look what he say. I'll finally give him. I'll shot that we give him. He won't never shake bag. He gonna be another way. J jump in the front, that dick gonna be another. Yeah. Yeah, man, jump in the front, that dick gon' be another flag. Hollin' fuck that body, I was in my head. I can't see another man like me. Gee, it all why a lot of niggas don't like me. But they know that I'm about business and I stand on that. Better not let me catch you slipping, don't put your hand on that. New stick that I just got, how your man's on that. Coach just got blessed with a whole nother drop. They go spin a band on that. Lightning strikes up on my toes, they striking by my toes. Silent to the bone and never tell what I know. I made it out with no umbrella, no coat. Made it out with my own head froze.
So I put diamonds on my Oh, nigga. Bitch ass, nigga. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna fuck with y'all. I'm finna hurry you up, shake back, though. I'm gonna tap back in with y'all when I get the fresh fade, you hear me? I had to tap in with, you know? I had to tap in with him. And he won't never shake back. He gonna be another way. I got this for y'all coming soon. Let so me know about it, doing some shit for y'all. Hey, I'm gonna leave y'all on a positive tip for the day, man. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about that. Do y'all think Real Bleeder was jabbing at, uh, TG commas, let me know. You know what I'm saying? And let me know how y'all feel about the entire video. Like I said, I'm gonna leave y'all on a positive tip. This is 7400 Lucci and 54 Don. Phone that man here, that man ready to do something on Jumbalaw TV. Take the whole pack that's raw. I'm too big for the city now. I can't even much pop out. Man, say you did that feature yet? Yeah, I think I was on the phone with that nigga, son. You did that bit though? Hey, I'm on fall out with you, bitch. <laughs> Real talk, though, bitch. I've been getting them. Them bitches have been busting like hotcakes. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Talk in, man. Real talk, I'm doing $400 features. $400 features to 20, 12, 20, 22, 20, 23. I'm going up. It's up. I'm going up. Huh? It's up with you. Man, it's up, dude. It's up on my mom. Whole lot of boat. Four hundred dollar feature. Good talk. Yeah, it's up with the boat. Get it while it's good. Yeah. Get it while it's good. Ah, beat your pussy ass up. Who you talking about to? Talking to you. Boy, you can't fuck me, boy. Hey, look, y'all, hey, look, I ain't gonna tell y'all how I be having that bitch Lou running and shit. Man. Yeah, I ain't gonna tell y'all how I be having Lou running and shit. Y'all know he ain't no fighter. Y'all know he ain't no fighter. Pretty boy ass nigga. Yeah. What's the name about it? Hey, sir. I'm the, the I'm the reason why you dropped your next bitch ass. <laughs> Man, let me get off your last thing. You be cheap. I'm the reason why, why you dropped your dad's bitch ass, nigga. I'm gonna fuck with y'all, yeah? You better find somebody. You better find somebody to play with. You better find somebody. Find somebody to play with. What well, down, chill? Fuck